Design, I think, has always been a part of my life. You know, at the age of 10 years old, I can remember sort of ripping um, a watch apart that my uncle had given me and sort of attempting to put it back together again. So I was always aware of uh, building things, really, kind of creating things. The, the evolution of digital technology with relation to design and how designers use that, how young designers are able to use that. In fact, how anyone's able to use that. You know, you don't even need to be a designer to design things. You know, you can, you can spit things out on a three-dimensional printer. I mean, my five-year-old daughter could do it. In fact, every time I try and help my daughter to sort of draw a picture or, or, or make something, I kind of get, you know, dissed. You know, it's, <laughs> she doesn't think I'm very good. One of the things about design in general is that by necessity, it's an international industry. I mean, there's nothing geographically specific about design. You know, the iPhone is the same in China as it is in, you know, Punta del Este or wherever else it is. Things have changed an enormous amount. You know, in 50 years we'll look back and this will be like the Industrial Revolution. But it's not necessarily the future that I had anticipated when I was 10 years old. You know, I really thought I'd be in space. You know, I had the opportunity to go to the moon. I think everyone did. For me, the future is simply not as optimistic as I thought it was going to be. You know, the, 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 the kind of sense of utopia certainly didn't kind of pan out, which is sad in a way, you know, sad for my kids. And sad when I see my, my daughter um, operating an iPad, but she would never have known what it was like, you know, what it, what it took to get there. Having said that, you know, in, in 60 or 70 years time, it will be, you know, that may seem fairly antiquated for her, so maybe I'm just being nostalgic. <laughs>